Hello everyone, I'm Jay. I'm Val. And today we are in downtown St. Louis at Union Station. And we're going to go to their aquarium today. What are you looking forward to, Val? Well, I'm not quite sure what all they have. I know they have otters and I love watching otters. They're so cute. Um, other than that, I'm not sure. I know they have sharks and eels. And I know there's an octopus here too. Well, I'm looking forward to all of the fishes. And if this doesn't go well, someone's going to sleep with the fishes. <laughs> so come along with us as we Jay and Val around Union Station at the St. Louis Aquarium. Wow, check out this wheel. It's full of gears and full of fish. So I see you're enjoying the cichlids. They're the most colorful fish. Like there's a rainbow fish, which is real colorful too. These are species of cichlids from Lake Malawi. Makes Lake Malawi, Lake Tanganyika, and Lake Victoria are called the Great Lakes of Africa. Malawi and Tanganyika are along the rift. They're approaching a mile deep, they're very long, narrow lakes. Wow, this is so amazing. And then, there's the school of fish. So now we are entering a virtual train, which is going to take us around and show us what the aquarium has to offer, and maybe more. Hello folks, I'm John Tickerman, your conductor and tour guide today. We start our journey on September 1st, 1894, when the first train departed Union Station. St. Louis was introduced to the world in 1904, when it hosted both the Olympics and the World's Fair. Look, the stadium and fair exhibits are right outside our windows. St. Louis was booming in the 1920s. By 1940, we reached over 800,000 residents. The 60s brought us the Gateway Arch. And today, well, let's take a closer look. I've been tinkering with this old train for a few weeks, and if I've got this right... Hold on to your seat. Here we go. them up close in the wild. Now, look who's in the tank. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. We're about to try something I haven't had a chance to test. Oop. Uh -huh. Ah, we made it to the Gulf of Mexico. 
But you didn't plan on that this morning. This is where the Mississippi River meets the ocean water. Absolutely breathtaking. Humpback whales? You don't see this every day. These rare creatures are the most graceful in the sea. And boy, can they sing! We don't have any of these beauties living with us at the aquarium, so this is a treat. Magnificent. A bit too close for comfort for me. Let's get you folks at the aquarium before they send us a surf Full steam ahead! Here we are. Welcome to the St. Louis Aquarium at Union Station. Please take all of your belongings as you exit the train. So hey Jay, check this out. There's more than 200 different kinds of fish in our rivers, in the Missouri River and the Mississippi River around us. And here's just a few of what they have. So we have largemouth bass, we have catfish, we have gar, we have bluegill, the Mississippi paddlefish, <laughs> the walleye. We have buffalo in there. Big old catfish right there. So, what we have here are doctor fish, and these are fish that. When you put your hand in the water, they will actually eat the dead skin off of your hands. So you can get a fish manicure. Val tried this once, and now it's my turn. Holy, holy Toledo, Batman. You're doing really good with this, I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, I'm actually freaking out. I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like I'm an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> oh my goodness! I don't. I don't know if I can get them off of me. Oh, jeez! Wow! Y yeah. So hey Jay, these fish right here are the fish of nightmares. They're red tail piranhas. These are the reason I don't like to swim in lakes. They got that mean mug going on. It's almost like they glitter.
high. And they have a 95% accuracy in pinning their target of food. They're not at all interested in a cherry lollipop. If this cherry lollipop were empty, they would not spit on it at all. In fact, there is no food on it, except for an assumption that I just refilled it. See how they're not interested in spitting at it? And now I'm going to show them the clean side, and then roll it to the food, and that's when they start spitting for their food. So check this out, Val. These are the North American River Otters. And they're just over there chilling. I don't know how many are there. What? I think there's three of them. There you go. When they were all sleeping when we came up, they were moving about now. I'm going to wait for the mom to roll over and get out of the river. Oh, stretchy stretch. They are playing, Val. Look at them. They're like... They're crossing over each other. See? Unfortunately, there's three of them, though, so there's an odd man out every time, right? Yep, exactly. <laughs> Ooh. This is the blue tongue tongue skink. Yeah, blue tongue blue. skink. He has that bright blue tongue. Uh, if you saw our dart frogs, the bright blue and yellow typically means toxin, like poison. So that's one way that uh, Tara can go, you don't want to eat me, I'll give you a tongue egg. Uh, but he is just pretending. He's not poisonous or venomous. He is a great mimic. He just likes to come out here and people watch, which I understand. Very pretty. Yeah. They look a lot like the death adder in Australia. You've heard of that snake? It's the most venomous snake in Australia. So in size, uh, like in shape and in color, it's a very thick snake. <laughs> it's not very long also. They are going to shed a little different. Snakes are going to shed all in one go. But lizards shed in pieces, so when he sheds, it's going to look like sequins just exploded in his house. <laughs> All those individual scales are, for the most part, going to be a little bit separate. Every so, Jay, are you feeling kind of crabby today? Feeling kind of crabby? I'm shooing people away. I'm a crab goalie. So... This is an American lobster. It's a blue lobster, which is a, a rare hybrid. And being here in St. Louis, the hockey team is the St. Louis Blues, and they have named this lobster Lord Stanley for the cup. I am from Newport, Rhode Island, and my great uncle Louie, which we have a, a video on our channel, one of the first ones that we did, you can learn about him, was a lobsterman all the way up into his 80s. And he caught the first blue lobster from that region that we know of. So uh, it's very cool to see another blue lobster here 
in St. Louis. Not so cool that they call him Lord Stanley. These here are moon jellyfish, and they actually let you touch them at times. How terrifying. Valerie, what are you about to do? I'm about to pet a starfish. What does it feel like? It's rough, like sand, like sandpaper almost. And then down there we have our sea, sea stars, sea snails, it's a real pair of crabs. Right and then there. that right there, I believe, is a sea snail. I'm not touching that though. Yeah. It looks like it's got its one eye on you though. Valerie, when did you get all touchy feely? The stingrays are cute though. Haven't you ever wanted to pet one? <laughs> no. Well, let's try this. Let's see if we get one. Hey Val, it's Dory and Nemo. It sure is. So check out these garden eels. They come right up out of the sand. Yeah, 
trust him. They're like, oh, sure, sure. Were you traveling in from the city? From, from Arnold. So we live here. Is like the shore with the waves crashing up on the shore. Bioluminescence is a natural process where organisms create and emit light. Wow, this is so cool. It's absolutely beautiful. When they do, they cause the waves to be blue green when they crash into the shore. They will even light up. So, Val, what is this? Well, this is an octopus. It's a giant Pacific octopus. For those who like calamari, lots and lots of calamari. <laughs> yuck, yuck, and yuck. Or Look at all those suction cups, though, and the tentacles. I know, it's crazy. I've never seen one be so, move so much. Usually they just are stationary. I'm not sure about, but I think he's showing us his butt. Look at the meaty little eyes. All righty. The aquarium at Union Station is over. So Val, what would you like about the aquarium today? I love it. I love all the beautiful fish. There's a ton of hands-on stuff for the little kids. They even have a little play area for them to sit down and draw if they need to chill for a few minutes. But a lot of hands-on, touching fish, touching... Oh. Petting the fish. Yeah, it's yep. crazy. Now, they also have a huge shark tank. It's 250,000 gallons. It's pretty big for the size. Uh, this is a small aquarium in the Union Station, so for what they have, it's pretty good. And they've got a ton of fish, some rare fish, uh, stuff that you would see in normal aquariums. Uh, what else did you take from this? I, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I could just go and sit in where the shark tank is because they've got music playing and just the ambiance of it. The ambiance, yeah. Is just... It, I could sit there for hours just listening to the music that they're playing and watching the fish. And also watching the river otters that oh, they yeah. seem to be your faves. Yeah, those are my favorite. They weren't real lively today, so. They were, but not in a way that we would like it. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It'll let you know when our new videos come out. It'll keep you in the loop. 
We just want to thank you for coming along with us and hanging out at the aquarium at Union Station. We want to thank you for Jay and valing around with us.